Tonight is going to be the first of the Eurovision semi-finals, which we... Um, are we competing in or not? I thought yeah. Jedward are competing in, yeah. Um, oh, this is very confusing. Are Jedward through to the final, or have they to quit tonight? Oh, no, they have to... Every, they every year we have to qualify. Oh, right, right. So, I'm delighted to say that I'm, deli I'm joined in the studio by two former Eurovision winners, Neve Cavanagh and Paul Harrington. We're in a situation where if you threw a stone over your shoulder in this studio, you'd actually hit somebody who'd won Eurovision. <laughs> <laughs> you should enter next year, Tom. That do you would, think? And that would complete it. Oh, if I could think of some concept, I would do it, believe you me. <laughs> oh. Jedward up against... Jedward up against the grannies this year. <laughs> the Russian grannies. And Engelbert, don't forget Engelbert. Engelbert he's he's definitely going to feature. Great. There were odds that he wouldn't make it as far as, as Eurovision. That, you know, his life expectancy <laughs> oh was such... Oh, gosh, that's, that's terrible, terrible thing to say. I know, I know, <laughs> At least with the grannies, there's allowed, just, like, there's six of them, so there's a chance to get the majority. <laughs> fell off the perch. <laughs> <laughs> Would anyone notice? Is it wrong? Is it wrong of us to say so, that? Medical <laughs> science. <laughs> Apart from that, tell us why this year we are... Somebody has the bright idea of bringing together the, mm -hmm. cr the creme de la creme of Irish Eurovision winners. Ah, uh, yes. That's what, and we're part of that. We certainly well, are. I'm, I'm the creme and you're the... I'm the other creme. Exactly. <laughs> Brulee, maybe. So Brulee one is, it's there's a, a show. Of there's a show. Yeah, yeah. There's a show called yeah. The Best of, Best of Eurovision Ireland's Winners mm -hmm. are going to tour Ireland. And there are 10 dates um, uh, booked in in October. Yeah. So we're here to start the promotion. Brilliant. Yeah, do you yeah. think, will they do well? Well, we hope it does. That's a, that's a good question. Um, I think tickets go on sale uh, <laughs> tomorrow. So we'll I, I'm not out. at all traumatised by that question, Tom, <laughs> no, I'll be honest with you. I know, I know, I know how, how you would How be. does it throw us on the, on the opening yeah, uh, yeah. step? You know? Would you write? Well, look, will anything do well? I see the Coronation Show, uh, Coronation Street show was cancelled. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, that's uh, right. you know. But the big thing about Eurovision is that we have won it so often. And yeah. we won it three years in a row, too, which I find amazing. Mm -hmm. But uh, maybe if you put one person on, there's a certain number who want to go and see it. But it seems to me they've put them all six of the seven winners six of seven stage. i mean emer is is kind of due to have another baby in the vicinity of it and in all yeah, fairness yeah. Uh, you know that's a yeah. big ass and who knows she, she, you know, she's yeah maybe she'll she do the robbie williams in? thing and yeah. just drop in or we'll we'll ghost is her she in. with child or something oh, yes, moment, so yeah, right. or maybe i hope i'm not out in that into the world no, we wish her, we wish her well. <laughs> but she may she may Emer, i'm sorry one of the one of the one of the bigger shows yeah i'm really excited about it to be honest because we've never we're going to see johnny logan yep won it twice yeah three times technically Tech, because he wrote the song for Linda Mark. Yeah, but he's the messy of the Barcelona. He is, yeah, yeah. He's, he's messy. No question about that. Uh, Dana, is Dana involved? Yeah, as far as I know, yeah. Is, yeah. My God. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, what, Linda Mark. Linda Mark. <laughs> yes, she is very much involved. Right. And Charlie. Charlie, Charlie and Charlie getting and joining me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to sing with him. He's going to sing with me. Perfect. We're going to sing yes. with each other. Well, and then sing yourself, Nee. But how's it going to work? Because it's conflicting egos. Oh, because we are ferocious yeah. divas, every one of us. Six individual backstage. Yeah, rooms. it's fabulous. You know, and and really trying to outdo each other. Because I, I have already spoken to Paul about the amount of frills he's going to have on his top. The know, rider so. is out of control. Out of control. Yeah, That's the way. Out of control. There's a lot right. of kind yeah. of vitamins for old people and such. But look, you know, the, the thing is, we all work with each other in different ways over the years and the truth of it is this is the first time I think certainly a gang of us has been together since do you remember we did was it Lifelines years ago and nearly all of us were on that I think that's the closest we've yeah. ever got to getting all of us together in the same room because although people think we live in the same house we don't no, actually no, no, no it's not, not the way it works not like your brother no okay. so how's it going to work on the night um, I think we'll assume it's going to be like an hour and a half is it yeah well it's probably longer because there's so many of us really and, and what will probably happen is we will feature uh, I mean we haven't kind of nailed it down but what will probably happen is we'll sing our own songs we'll have yeah. our own sections mm. they'll have really great VT in between to really oh, bring yeah. the nostalgia so it's kind of more like a journey through the, the history of Eurovision I suppose and a narrator I suppose yeah. a narrator uh, which is mystery at the moment we're very excited mystery there's narrator. a few mystery options narrator, there yeah. could be yeah. definitely Eurovision related as such Marty maybe Jedward Wheeler. well Jed, now listen we, I, I wouldn't like to be love you know, Marty Marty would be great he he look for the great, gate yeah. Tom but yeah. he'd have to be up for you never know I wouldn't <laughs> it out. Um, it's October, isn't it? October yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Starts. Is October quiet? Yeah, yeah. You, you never know in this business. Yeah. It could no, be quiet. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but Can't actually, I, I think so. What probably <laughs> happen is we'll do our own songs, and then possibly there could be crossovers, and we could yeah. maybe do classic Eurovision songs. I, mm. I'm not sure whether it's going to be strictly Irish or whether it's going to be like classic Eurovision songs, which could mean that perhaps you and I could be Bobby Socks or something. Exactly. You know, I think we, we have that. a clip of another Eurovision song that that won, just to give you an idea of the standards. Uh-huh. People say it's gone downhill. Okay. But okay. That's rubbish, you know. Really. This is a song that won it a few moons back. Uh, how many many moons? <laughs> That was Israel with, with I Want to Be a Polar Bear. That's correct. I remember Terry Wogan saying those very words. I was I was that soldier in front of that TV. And they won again with Hallelujah, either before Did or after. They? I can't remember. They had two, two years running. Yeah. So, yes, you're right. That You're re- you're well going back there now. Yeah, in right. fairness. For me, it's just always stuck in my mind. Yeah, that I love perfect that perfect summary of it. I, I love Want to Be a Polar Bear. Be a polar bear. Um, yeah. I get the impression, though, it's, is it a bit of a double-edged sword that y- you can win it and be thrown into the spotlight? But the, the minute the next year comes around, the spotlight's on somebody else. Yeah, it's, it's very X Factor moments, all yeah. right. Yeah. But your longevity oh, comes you from your that, quality. Your quality. Do you expect it though? I, I, you must feel when you win it, and you, you must think this is it now. Well, the lottery numbers. There. Well, having said that, mm. having said that, to correct that, you don't know what to expect because if you only win it once, I mean, if you win it every year, then you kind of yeah. know what to expect. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's a bit more it's, obvious. It's, yeah. it's no more different than music business than you know having a record on the radio for yeah. six weeks and then it disappears yeah. or yeah and, and you know in fairness all. all of us were well with the exception of maybe Donna we've all been involved in the music industry before mm. that so yeah. it wasn't a big shocker to suddenly discover I mean the big shock for me was actually people recognised me that was a shocker right. you know because that yeah. hadn't happened previous to that but part. they didn't uh, quite recognise you did they because the no. following year when mm-hmm. you tried to go to the uh, post that's pa- right I party. was I, I don't have good um history with Lilies for that yes yeah. that's right one year later Neve tried to go to the post Eurovision party and I was refused entry refused that's entry right. that myself yeah. well, I, well I, I made sure that by the way it was myself and Charlie <laughs> won that year I said if Neve Capita shows up don't let her near the library of Lilies sorry Neve I, I have, have to say actually I, I, have to, I have, I have to kind of correct that a little yeah. bit because the reason I wasn't let in you see the thing about Eurovision is you have your card that yeah, tells you who you are you right? ha- oh very good and the thing is I didn't have the right invitation I should have been up with the bit the the corporates right. when and the crew party was in Lilies so technically mm-hmm. I wasn't invited there but in all fairness there mightn't have been a party in Lilies had I not been involved in the winning entry could you not year. bring yourself to say that? Uh, no because I, I don't do that no, I don't do that Kavanagh, no party I know I know uh, I, I didn't need to say it there actually because there's a couple of years myself, myself, said myself and Ronan Keating got refused entry as well and this, really? this, was, this was the year that boys owner did the well, entry I wouldn't give C. Ronan being refused <laughs> entry <laughs> somewhere it was quite a moment yeah Oh. I don't know why. I don't I know. know why. It's just such a just, just have that what, moment in your What mind. do you think of Jedward's chances now? Well, I think they'll probably qualify. I think they'll probably do reasonably well because actually they have a fairly de- decent base across yeah. Europe. And there's no doubt that if you are known people will vote for you, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, you have a much better chance and they're kind of lovely, playful, as we know. But, you know, at the same time, I don't think they're going to win it. And I, because the, and also the energy through the fans is mm. they're glad to see them and all that, but yeah. realistically, they're not even speaking about them on the pages now. Really? Yeah. It's very strange because... Um, I thought they were going to do better than, but there doesn't seem to be the same energy. I have to admit, mm. I haven't kept right on top of it, but I did do a bit of checking about, and it seems to me that they're really talking about Italy, Spain, mm. they're concerned right. about Sweden. They're not really talking about Ireland as much, which is a shame because yeah, actually. It might be a bit of having seen us before, maybe, that they there's were down an that element. Road already, yeah, there's an element. And, but you know, the honest truth of it is, you don't know till the live performance, and the reality is the fans, although they vote, are not the main voters. Yeah. The main voters are like we were as right. kids, all looking at it going. It's still down to the deuce point. I think so. I think it. I think and, and the were, live thing. If you were to try and breed a Eurovision act in a laboratory, you'd end up with Jedwards. <laughs> I mean, I, I think they're pretty perfect. <laughs> what are you saying, Tom? I think they're pretty perfect. <laughs> I think they're perfect. perfect. And in, fact, in fact, I think they should go in every year until, <laughs> until they win. Until do, you, have some sort of do you think that's a possibility? Just keep, just keep yeah. sending, sending them in. Um, the dates start on October the 11th, Grand Canal Theatre, then on to the Waterfront of Belfast, Draw to INEC, Millennium Forum, Derry, uh, Cork Opera House, all over the place. Yeah, so. there's kind of yeah, like a dark yeah. throwing kind of feeling to that. Well, because it's every the nature night, of the Irish It tour, did give me lovely it? nostalgia for yeah. those days. Sadly, Johnny Logan was kidnapped just prior to our phone call. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> 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 Is he being held by Jedward hopefully, by any chance? He'll be free. <laughs> 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 uh, Paul, thanks very much for coming in. Pleasure, Thank Tom. you very much for coming in.